Well, this is damn good. I'd say this is the best beer I've ever had. Actually, you need anything over there? I'm just glad to be alive right now. <laughs> I was up a few towns away. You know Saragossa? I was visiting a bar there. Not unlike this one. They serve beer. Not quite as good as this, but close. Now this bar is full of real low lives. So I'm sitting there. And in walks the biggest Mexican I have ever seen. Big as shit. Just walks right in like he owns a place. Now nobody knew quite what to make of him or quite what to think. But there he was. And in he walked. Dark, too. I don't mean dark skinned. No, this was different. It was as if he was always walking in a shadow. I mean, every step he took towards the light, just when you thought his face was about to be revealed, it wasn't. It was as if the lights dimmed just for him. It's the Willy Cagada. <laughs> So, this guy takes a seat at the bar, asks the bartender for a soda pop, sits back, says nothing. You're a soda pop. we one. Then, all of a sudden, the bastard spoke. He started talking more whispering to the bartender. You know he was talking business, because whatever he said upset the bartender. Especially when he mentioned, uh, well, he said something like, bitch, or bucho. That's what it was. Bucho. Well, whatever he said, pissed off the bartender plenty. Oh, and some of those unsavory characters I was telling you about, they got pissed too. Started pulling guns and knives and what have you, starting some shit. Now the stranger, he bolts out of the bar stool like you wouldn't believe. He grabs his case like, and he dives right in the middle of the room with it. Just dives right in now. What he does on that floor, but he's up in two shakes, his suitcase is wide open, and he's pulled God knows what out of it, but it's the biggest hand cannon I've ever fucking seen. You stood there while this whole thing was going down, you didn't run for cover or join in? I was frozen stiff. All I could do was watch this... <laughs> ...thing tear the place apart. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> Cutthroat scumbags were coming out of the woodwork and dying much-deserved deaths. It was judgment night in that place. So he grabs one of these guys, the only guy that's still breathing, and he starts getting information out of him. I just knew by the whispering and all that this guy was giving up all the goods, spilling his guts, confessing the world. He told that stranger everything. Everything? Can I get a cleaner mug? This one's dirty. Fuck you, man. It's the cleanest one I got. So anyway, without warning, without any hint or preview, the stranger whips around and he sees me. You saw his face? His face? No. His eyes. And he didn't do anything to you? Not really, because he turned his attention back to the guy on the floor. The stranger shot him, walked over to the bartender, paid, and left. So the bartender lived. <laughs> the bartender never gets killed. <laughs> but 
as the stranger neared the door. No, man. The bartender got it worse than anybody. Here. This one's on the house. If you can remember his face. Thanks. But no thanks. I'm clearing out of here, boys. Because I think... He's headed this way. Canto mi canción, me gusta tomar mis copas, aguardiente es lo mejor, también el tequila blanco con su sal de la sabor. Ay, 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 mi amor, ay, mi morena de mi corazón. 